What's up, y'all? Um, it's been a while since I last made a video. Um, you know, I just thought I'd made a, make a quick video for today. You know, on this uh, Sunday morning. Sunday afternoon, rather. Um, happy March, everybody. Can't believe it's March already. Um, as usual, a lot of things have been going on. I'm still upset about this whole... Um, Instagram situation, and um, I'm kind of not feeling that platform anymore. I'll go there from time to time, but I haven't really been posting much. I haven't really been, um, you know, doing as much on it as I used to. I just don't trust it anymore, you know. Um, unfortunately, I had some people block me because as a result of what happened. And um, it's just, it's not sitting well with me. So, and again, I, I already explained that I'm not a social media person anyway. So maybe this was a sign from God that I need to just leave social media alone altogether. I wanted to just delete it and keep it moving, but I didn't want to do that. You know, I do have friends on there that I really enjoy talking to and interacting with. So I don't want to just do that. Um... But it has been weighing heavy on my mind, though. So, um, just want to make a quick video to show some stuff that I hadn't showed before. Um, and, you know, a little stuff that was in my collection. I've been doing some spring cleaning or whatever. Spring, whenever that happens, right? Cleaning, um, you know, around the place or whatever. Trying to get a few of my things together. So I just want to show a, a few books that I had bought um, and books that were given to me throughout, you know, the past few months or whatever. Um, this classic book, Soul on Ice. I haven't read it yet, but I will. Uh, Eldridge Cleaver, of course. Um, this book is a much needed read for all of us right now especially with all the shit that's going on um it is very prevalent today as well as back then and that's the sad part about it but yeah um very important read same as this blood in my eye i actually finished reading this uh i think it was either last month or the month before it last very good book. Uh, it's a shame that literally a few days after he wrote this book, he was killed in prison. Um, it's sad, really, you know. Again, everything that's spoken in this book is basically happening today and then some. You would think that as human beings, we would be evolving more instead of devolving in these situations but you know it is what it is uh gil scott heron it's basically a collection of his poetry lyrics that type of thing a very short read and i finished this actually either before or after blood in my eye um very good if you're a gil scott heron fan or even if you're not a gil scott heron fan Rest in peace to this brother. Another one that opened the doors for a lot of us. Um, I, I cherish him the way I cherish Sly, the way I cherish Stevie, the way I cherish everybody. You know, so there you go. Um, I don't think I showed this book. Uh, the Black Poets is basically a collection of African-American poetry. Um trying to remember where I bought this um I don't think I don't know if I bought it when I was in LA or if I bought it out here but I still have to read it though dreams from my father and the audacity of hope both by Barack Obama actually these were given to me by a resident at my job or one of the residents at my job I was uh helping her clean out her closet and move things around and um she gave me these two books and she gave me a michelle obama book too which i packed up already so yeah i'm not gonna be able to show you that one but it's kind of like a 
biography of sorts um, in regards to that one. Um, I haven't read these books yet, but I would like to. I actually have hardcover versions of both of these books as well as Obama's recent book that came out. Those are also packed up as well. Um, so I'm not going to be able to show you those. Uh, and finally, some pictures I framed. Um, one of my favorite pictures of Yaya in his uh, sexy pink suit. I actually found out someone told me this was a Hugo Boss suit. And I could have swore it was Versace, but either way, it's very attractive. Um, another favorite picture, I actually have the phone case of this. I went to Walgreens to get this printed out on an 8 by 10 photo and just put it in this frame. So there you go. And this picture of Lakeith, which I, I cherish. Um, I actually bought this. This is actually a magazine clipping from, I think it was Vanity Fair from 2015. Um, basically showcasing the new stars of Hollywood at the time. And back then he had just did, um, I think it was Dope and something else that he did as well. Um, so he was relatively new at that time. But yeah, I bought this on eBay, the, the picture, the um, clipping for like $4 or something like that. And I put it in this frame so that it's preserved and so I can put it on the wall or, or whatever. So yeah, I uh, just wanted to show those um, random things, of course. Um, I haven't done too many videos at the time. Um, but I'll see what I can do. You know, I'll try to do as much videos as I can when I can. Uh, but in the meantime, y'all take care. Y'all be safe out there. Uh, God bless everybody. Thank you as, as always for your support. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Peace.